Hello, this is Angela with Parkrose Permaculture. It is a sunny but chilly November afternoon here in Portland, Oregon. I wanted to share with you all a success that I had from my annual veggie garden that I thought you might wanna know about and might want to think about as you're ordering your seeds for your 2022 annual veggie garden. So every year I have kind of my old standbys that grow year in and year out, black crim tomatoes, Celeste tomatoes, uh, seeds that I save myself and make sure that they are selected for my microclimate, like my sweet meats and my kales and things like that. I also take the opportunity every year to pick a couple of things I've never grown before and uh, get them from the seed catalogs and try them out because you never know when you're gonna find a new variety that just absolutely knocks everything. Uh, you've been growing you know, off the top of the block and it is just superior in every way. So I'm always hoping every year a couple of those experimental varieties will turn out to be real showstoppers. And this year I found one and I'm gonna be buying it every year. And that is the Naked Bear Pumpkin. So let me tell you a little bit about it and why I think it's such a great pumpkin. So the naked bear pumpkin is a pumpkin that is grown for its pepitas, for the seeds. It produces those lovely green hullless seeds. So unlike a regular pumpkin, you don't have to remove the outer white hull in order to get to the tasty protein rich, fat rich flesh inside. Those pepitas are um, delicious. We actually buy a lot of pepitas and that's why I decided to grow these pumpkins because um, I make a lot of homemade granola and we go through cups and cups and cups of pepitas every year and they're not very cheap. And also I'm not actually really sure, pretty sure they're grown using, uh, you know, monoculture, agriculture, and uh, not a situation that is really best for the planet. So if I can grow those myself at home, a fat rich, protein rich, organic uh, source of those lovely pepitas at home, I thought I really want to try it. So the Naked Bear is a small pumpkin. It actually makes a really cute little pumpkin for Halloween. So uh, think about that. It's really ideal to kind of carve it for Halloween and then enjoy the seeds. That's what we did with the first one of ours. So a really cute little orange pumpkin. They're only about two to three pounds uh, and most of the inside is seeds. There's not very much flesh. So there's a number of pepita producing varieties of pumpkins on the market. And the reason that I picked the Naked Bear is because it's a relatively new variety and it's an F1 hybrid. So it is known for producing much, much larger pepitas than pepitas that you normally would grow in your garden or that you can buy from the store. Now, I know a lot of folks in organic gardening groups and even in permaculture groups kind of balk at the idea of growing hybrids. Um, yes, in terms of having uh, food security and food sovereignty and um, increasing your self-sufficiency, hybrids are not really a great way to go. They're not open pollinated. You can't save the seeds and replant them every year yourself. You need to buy them from the supplier. For me, I feel like with this pumpkin, that's not really a concern. I'm willing to support, you know, Territorial Seed Co. or uh, Johnny's Select or Fed Co. in order to uh, acquire the seeds for these pumpkins. I don't actually know the parentage of what uh, the parents were for this F1 hybrid, but um, I think they kind of keep that a secret. So having grown way in the past other varieties of pepita pumpkins, my opinion of this F1 uh, naked bear pepita producing pumpkin is that holy cow, the seeds are enormous. They are as advertised absolutely huge compared to other pepita pumpkins. Let's compare in the glass jar the pepitas from the grocery store to the naked bear pepitas from the pumpkin we just harvested. You can see here the naked bear seeds are much, much larger. Once again, store-bought pepitas on the left, naked bear pepitas on the right. So for me, it does mean that I can't save the seeds from these, I can't uh, have my own supply of these at home and I will need to buy them every year. But for what I paid for the seeds, which I think is 375, so I planted maybe six plants, so I will have seeds to replant next year. Um, so for my 375 investment, 
Oh, I got probably um, about eight cups of pumpkin seeds is what I'm gonna guess altogether. So that's a pretty darn good return considering the price per pound of pepitas and that these were organically grown. Now, according to the seed catalogs, the flesh from the naked bear pumpkin is absolutely edible. You can roast it and use it for pumpkin puree. I found it to be a little bit watery and stringy, not nearly like a Connecticut field pumpkin, but it's totally not my favorite. So I did use it as feed for my chickens and ducks and they love the roasted flesh of this pumpkin. But it is edible and you may find that it makes a really good puree for you. Um, I just mu very much pr prefer my Burgess Buttercup uh, to the flesh from the Naked Bear Pumpkin. But maybe for you, you'll get uh, you know a double whammy there and get the flesh out of it and get the seeds. So I found it produced really well. It is a variety that is known for being highly disease resistant and for not needing as much water. And uh, I found that it, it really thrived in our really hot summer. So the maybe six plants that I grew, an eight cup yield of pumpkin seeds. Um, I did very little watering in my garden this summer despite our drought and it absolutely did great. The vines were not as sprawling and uh, didn't take up as much room as perhaps my sweet meat or Burgess buttercup vines, uh, but they did produce, you know, one to two pumpkins per vine. So I just want to reiterate here, don't worry about growing hybrid seeds. Yes, it's an ethical concern if you're looking at a subsistence farmer who has to purchase their seed every year because they can only grow hybrid or patented seeds and they are having to have an outlay of seed purchase every year and are unable to purchase a seed that they can um, begin to stock their own supply from, that they can save seed from. That's an ethical concern. For the home gardener or homesteader or permaculturist seeking to grow what your family can enjoy, your household can enjoy, um, I don't think it's definitely something that we need to be worried about. I think it's something that we can enjoy growing and say, I'm supporting a local seed producer, a seed producer that has ethics that I can align with like Fedco or uh, Johnny Select and feel good that you're supporting small farmers who are producing these seeds in the first place. So no, you can't save the seeds from these. No, you can't produce them yourself. No, they aren't something that uh, is a crop that you can rely on if you know the zombie apocalypse happens and we can't order from seed catalogs anymore. But is this a pumpkin that is worth growing? Yes, absolutely. Just whopper seeds. So how do the pepitas from the Naked Bear pumpkin compare in flavor to pepitas that you buy from the store? And well, the ones you buy from the store are again, really little. Um, you know, they have a good nutty flavor and you can kind of taste the fat content. Um, they're not, they're not like astounding, but the pepitas, here, look how much bigger. They're much sweeter, um, definitely much sweeter and they have much more of a depth of flavor to them and they taste very fatty, right? They, they have that kind of really rich kind of mouth coating, a good pumpkin oil flavor to them. I think they're much sweeter. Definitely prefer them to a store purchased a pepita. So thank you for watching today. I hope that you got something out of this video. I hope you'll consider trying growing pepita producing pumpkins in your garden for the 2022 gardening season. I have listed down in the uh, description the various companies that I know and trust that sell this variety of pumpkin. They don't sponsor me. I mean, that would be amazing if they did, but they don't sponsor me. They're just companies that I've bought from for, uh, for years and years and years and know and trust. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in supporting this channel, I also have a Patreon down in the description and a PayPal. If you like my videos, feel that they're educational and want to throw a couple bucks at my PayPal, that would be fantastic. I will be back soon. Thanks.